Most people in America know what is and isn't a person's rights. And yet we still seem to have law enforcement officers in America who think they have the right to sexualize a human being, dehumanize their body, and choose for them what it's going to look like. Isn't it amazing that law enforcement sheriff in a jail thought they had the right to tie a man's beard in a, ba in a knot who was a priest of some kind? Isn't it curious that female officers in a jail thought they had the right to shave a man's legs and shave his body and openly shave his genitalia and think that he wouldn't mind. The liars of the American force are putting America at risk and yet they're always marveled how they make the news. When they make the news they're proving that they're not good enough in their soul to behave themselves with regard to other people's goods. When I talk about these people I want you to know that people have to be trustworthy today. If you're not trustworthy today, why should we help you do anything in America? Trust is earned over time, but what you do to lie, steal, and cheat other people out of their rights puts you in the major predator category. You are a sexual predator, you are a sexual assailant when you sexually assault someone. And when you cut their beard without their consent, you are actually creating a sexual or sex-based hate crime. You're also creating a religious hate crime if the beard was grown for their Lord, then their Savior, their beliefs, their religion. You should know this at your age. You should know this for your station. You should know this from your heritage. And you should know this from your history. More importantly, you should probably know this if you're in law enforcement or religion for your profession. And this is the lie you tell the Lord today. That I am going to be in charge of that person's body. I'm going to sexually assault it, I'm going to abuse it, I'm going to hurt it, and who is he going to tell? Well, he can tell the world, and you can try to pretend to mental health him, but I promise you, God is hell-bent, and he sees your sin, he sees what you do, and he will take it out of your soul, maybe on a child or two. In America, we have rights, and people do not show proper regard and honor to other people. I show my regard and honor until you lie to me, cheat me or steal from me and then I don't have to you made a choice you made a choice motherfuckers to decide your own fate when you decided to hate someone harm someone sexually assault someone rape someone abuse someone but more importantly when you decided to rape someone of their rights